A state parliamentary inquiry into ethics classes in schools today sparked frank discussions about cannibalism, bestiality and burning in hell. The inquiry is looking at whether ethics classes, which serve as an alternative to scripture lessons, should be scrapped. The coalition agreed to the investigation after Christian Democrats MP Fred Nile threatened to block the government's IR legislation. State political reporter Bridget Glanville reports. Ethics classes versus religion. These parents say their children should have a choice. Uh, so if you consider repealing this provision, which is tantamount to outlawing the ethics classes, uh, you would be meeting ferocious opposition from parents right across the state. The parliamentary inquiry is investigating whether to change the legislation, which offers ethics classes as an alternative to scripture lessons. Former ABC managing director and parent David Hill told the inquiry he can't understand why ethics classes are under attack. By any measure, the uh, ethics courses have been an outstanding success. Uh, we know of, uh, at the time the legislation was introduced, 130 PNCs uh, voted in support. The inquiry at times was heated. Conservative Liberal MP David Clark was accused of badgering a witness when he asked whether she was aware of the views of ethicist Dr Peter Singer. If you're not aware of his views, you are aware that he has justified sexual relations between humans and animals. Are, are you aware of that? No. Are you aware? no, you're not aware of that. Labor committee member Greg Donnelly wanted to know what would happen if a child was asked about cannibalism in an ethics class. If, if, if the point of question is, could a child at the end of the conversation walk out thinking killing someone so you can eat them might be OK, uh, the answer would be no. Parents say they're outraged that Barry O'Farrell has agreed to this inquiry just to keep the Christian Democrat Fred Nile happy. They say that if ethics classes are being reviewed, then scripture classes should also be back on the agenda. The Anglican Church is expected to appear when the inquiry continues on Monday. Bridget Glanville, ABC News.